it's a lot of fun because uh, you know that you've garnered that respect, you know, from the people around the league. And uh, I just think that, you know, the most fun is when you have other guys on the team that are there with you and you can represent the Raiders. I'm glad to, you know, represent the Raiders. And, you know, my hat's off to my punt team. They played, they played their butts off for me this year. You never know. You know, each, each season is always different. And, uh, you know, it never gets old. It's always exciting. Every time your name is called, you know, it's my first as an Oakland Raider, so it's definitely special for me. Congratulations to Namdi Asamoa, Richard Seymour, and Shane Leckler as they were all selected to represent the Raiders in the upcoming Pro Bowl. We'll also talk about the alternates who were also selected to join the squad. Congratulations to all the Raiders who were selected to the Pro Bowl. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, JT. For Namdi Asamoah, there's nothing new about him representing the Raiders at the Pro Bowl. Neither is him representing the Raiders within the community. Homeless for the holidays. A grim concept, but a harsh reality for nearly two million kids across the United States. That's why Oakland Raiders defensive backs Namdi Asamoa, Michael Huff, Tyvon Branch, and Mike Mitchell took time out from football to assist some local underprivileged we youth. For them, we're going to give it to them while they're in there chilling. Dreamcatcher is the only emergency shelter in all of Alameda County for runaway, thrown away, and homeless teens. We do want to even and the Raiders have uh, selected Dreamcatcher and have donated turkeys and all the trimmings for us to make Thanksgiving dinner. How are you? Come on, uh, thank you. Yeah. How are y'all? We've got, we got a nice big turkey for y'all. That's a lot of, yeah, a lot of food here. Glad we could uh, bring it out here. Uh, it's an honor for us to be here. Thank right. you. For the kids, the Raiders' visit provided some holiday spirit in the form of good food and fun. Michael. something they rarely experience during the holiday season. Glad that the Raiders was able to go out of their way to do all of this and just help us out with the food, because like we do need help basically wipe the worries off for right now. And for the Raiders, the visit helped them to put their recent loss on the road in perspective. In the meantime, you have a loss, you know, it's tough, but then you come here, you know, like on our off day, and they kind of see, like, the things that are going on in the real world, you know, people are struggling and need help, so they kind of, like I said, put things back in perspective. I feel like I was blessed uh, to have this opportunity, I just want to keep showing God that I appreciate it. Help out anytime I get that. And Dreamcatcher wants to thank you because it's actually nice to know that um, important big men like yourselves uh, still know to think about the community. It means a lot. I'm happy that they did because it shows that they care. We as an organization are thankful for community support and uh, go Raiders. <laughs> I'm bringing my son out right now. This is his first Raiders game. So uh, that's why I have him standing over here in the black hole so he can experience what we all experienced growing up. My dad brought me when I was a uh, little kid and um, anytime I'm home, you know, you always find me here. You know you're in the Raider Nation. The madness. Just seeing, seeing the whole crowd, silver and black. Hey, Raider Nation, how you guys doing? Good luck. Keep it going, baby. The Raider fans were all over, and they're, they are passionate, and they love their team, and that's a great thing. Just being here, I mean, it's so, I mean, everybody talks about being home, watching games at home, and that's cool, but there's nothing like being a part. I'm like, look at there's people right here. We don't quit no matter what happens during the season. It's Raider Nation, and we do it to the end, baby. The true reality of it is, is you just can't beat Raider football. 